It's day 13 of Fly Lady 101. So get on in here. We're going to we're going to keep doing this until the end of the month and then we're going to start on another master class. Won't that be fun? So get on in here. Today is Thursday. It is our day that we do question and answers. It's also as part of our basic weekly plan. It is um Aaron day. Run a few errands today so you don't have to do them on the weekend because nothing's worse than um, wasting a weekend of family fun to, to deal with running to the grocery store, getting food in the house, picking up stuff, going to the drugstore, all this stuff. So let's get some errands run today so that we don't have to waste our very special weekends. So good morning. Thank you for being here. We are in zone three this week. That is our main bathroom. And the other room we're dealing with is our extra bedroom or your guest room. But, you know, just pick something. I don't care. Everybody, every room's got to be dusted. Every room's got to, you know, every, you just have things you have to do. So get on in here. Today in our Fly Lady 101 Masterclass, we're going to be discussing the do it now principle. And I know some of you are saying when I get I get sidetracked and, and the do it now principle just doesn't work for me. Well, the do it now principle is really a stop procrastinating principle. And we're going to we're going to discuss all that. Uh, Thursday is usually our day to do question and answers, and we will do question and answers immediately after we do the Fly Lady 101 class. I'm trying to keep the classes short and sweet. They, they're going to be tough, but uh, you still have to deal with it. But you can talk about it all you want to, but until you do it now, things aren't going to get done. You can talk about your routines, but they're not going to get done if you don't get up and move and do something, do something. So we're on day 13 and we have um, 111,000 people on our YouTube channel. We have started a Spotify uh, podcast on Spotify and Y'all, things are moving and shaking. So let's get down to, to what the do it now principle. You know, we have routines. Routines get, our habits get strung into routines and then those routines become habits. But out of the blue, you notice that you've got dirty smudges on your light switch where the kids were out playing and they came in and flipped the light on and there's muddy hand prints. The do it now principle kicks in. You know why? Because you have uh, purple rags available. You have little sponges. Hey, you have a spit wash if you have to, to get, get things off. Main thing is grab a rag and get it done. It will take you less time to think about it and just do it than to sit there and just pine your life away thinking, oh, I need to do that. But, and it looks awful. You see, just get it done. Maybe you got a, a, a wet dish rag in your kitchen. Grab it and go wipe it off. The do it now principle keeps you in the bathroom in the morning, you get up and you get dressed to lace up shoes. And while you're in the bathroom, we teach you to swish and swipe. That's a do it now principle. It takes you less than a minute to actually do it. And that's that's why the do it now, now principle works. You're not spending an hour with the do it now principle. It's a, a minute, two minutes tops. And you have done what needed to be done. When you are in... When you're in the bathroom 
and you use the last little bit of toilet paper. This happened to me yesterday. I had three sheets left on a roll of toilet paper. Now I have a stash of toilet paper in the bathroom. So, and I had a show to come and do, but guess what? It took me 30 seconds to take that roll off of my storage spike that I have in my bathroom and put it on my toilet paper holder. 30 seconds, if that. I wasn't even late to the show. Other than the fact that it wouldn't work. (laughs) I had problems, technical problems yesterday. So you see, the do it now principle is when you get something out and you get finished with it, put it away. That's a do it now thing. Put it up where it belongs. You know, my granny always said, everything has a place and everything in its place. Is it perfect? No. But if we put it back where it belongs and it has a designated spot, then when it comes time to look for it, like last night, Robert was in the kitchen looking for scissors. They have two places. I have two sets of scissors in the kitchen. I have kitchen shears that are in my utensil crock, our utensil crock. And then I have some paper cutting scissors that are in the back of the silverware drawer. He couldn't find either one of them. (laughs) I said, what are you hunting for? I'm looking for scissors. And then he found them right there where they were supposed to be. Put everything back where it belongs. And he's good at putting things back where it belongs. I'm not, I'm not as good at it as he is. So folks, the do it now principle doesn't sidetrack you. It keeps you from procrastinating. Because when you say, I don't have time to put that roll of toilet paper on the, on the spindle, Who's going to be left high and dry? And if you have somebody come into your bathroom that's not usually a family member, or if it is a family member, look at what you've done. You've left them without toilet paper. And that causes a whole nother kettle of of, uh, problems. So folks, please take the time to do what you need to do when you notice it. Now, rushing around, when you're rushing, you don't see things. But when you're pleasantly walking through your routines during the morning, getting dressed, making your bed, getting up, going to the bathroom, uh, swishing and swiping, when you're doing this in a, in a methodical, you heard me, in a systematic way, You can notice things. It's not a the tortoise and the hare situation. You're not running around, running circles around the tortoise. You're just plodding along, doing all the things you need to do. You notice things. You notice that there's a a drop of water coming out from underneath your bathroom sink. And you know why? You've sprung a leak under there. You take the time to look at it, put put maybe a pull out from what's under there and put a tub under there until you can can address it and see what's happening. The do it now principle. Don't wait. Don't wait because there'll be problems from it. If you waited on that leak being underneath your bathroom sink, you're going to have towels wet, all kinds of things happening. But if you see it, do something about it. It won't take long if you pull out a few things and then put a little bucket under there until you can address what's going. Maybe your plumbing is 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 not screwed on tight enough. That's happened to me. Maybe you have um, it's gotten a little hole in the bottom of it and it's leaking. The do it now principle kicks in for things that are. For me, in the kitchen, when the dishwasher finishes, it makes a little beepy noise. I can't wait to get in there and empty it because I like to have a dirty dish disposal unit. That little beep says, 
come and come and put me away. And then I all I don't have any excuse to not put dishes in the dishwasher. Last night I was getting the kitchen cleaned up after dinner, and I noticed that I had this much Dawn dishwashing liquid in in my little container. I buy Dawn in the gallon. So I reached under my kitchen sink. I got my bottle of dishwashing liquid, or my jug of dishwashing liquid, filled up my Dawn bottle, and then used what dribbled on the sink to wipe the sink and shine it. People, there have been videos on YouTube that I saw yesterday about shining your sink. It's, you know, it's something that people do. It's not just me. But your sink needs to be clean. And when your sink is clean and shiny, if you accidentally spill all the pasta in your sink, you know it's clean. You know it's clean. Justin and Emily went two weeks without a kitchen sink because they couldn't get a plumber that would work on their plumbing. And finally, Justin said, well, I can do this. Been putting up with these plumbers. They gave them outrageous. They priced themselves out of the office pretty much. And he said, you know, me and Ethan and Emily, we can do this. We can do this. And so they did. They did. Now, he, they had, Justin had to remove some ceiling to get some to some areas. And, but they did it. They did it. And they have... They have made a decision to quit using their garbage disposal because they're on a country system. So, folks, the do it now principle, keeping your sink clean and shiny, these things, instead of putting things off, we tell ourselves we don't have time to put that roll of toilet paper. This is what's going on in our head. We don't have time. I was under a time crunch yesterday, but I was out of toilet paper. And I took 30 seconds and did it. It probably wasn't even 30 seconds. And it was done. It was done. And I didn't have to worry about it anymore. So y'all, the do it now principle is going to keep you from procrastinating. And it's going to keep you from feeling guilty. When you hear the wash machine do its little buzzer, go put it over in the dryer. If you don't, it's going to get smelly and you're going to have to rewash it, which is going to run up your electric bill. You'll have to put some more a detergent in there that's going to cost you money the do it now principle helps you to save money it helps you to save grief and feeling guilty and ashamed if something only takes you two minutes to accomplish do it now my granny never stopped she was born and organized and she puttered all the time she would run around <clears throat> she would run ar she would just just be doing things all around the house daily maintenance whatever and she'd always find something to do she'd always have something to do she'd see things that need to be done because she wasn't rushing she was taking her time. Now, yesterday, a friend of mine sent me a sent me a little note and and said uh, she she had busted her windshield on her car. I mean, I said, okay, how did that happen? Well, I was going to, going to school to pick up my baby. 
I wanted to see my baby. I said, were you rushing? She said, yes, ma'am. You fallen too close, weren't you? She said, yes, ma'am. I said, rushing don't get you there any faster. Take it slow and steady. Back away. Don't be on the back end of somebody's bumper trying to push them along. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to, Justin. <laughs> I can't stand a tailgater. I can't stand it. It's because you're in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. I mean, the stress of trying to beat the time that your GPS tells you you're going to be there. That's just, that's adrenaline pumping through your veins. So y'all, let the do it now principle kick in in your life to get things done. Because when you see what needs to be done, you can do it. Whether it's a smudge on the wall, a spill on the floor, the do it now principle kicks in. The other night I didn't go to bed until really late because my cat was sick and I was running around the house cleaning up after her. Y'all say a prayer for Samantha. Anyway, y'all, let the do it now. And, and if I hear her get sick in the middle of the night, I get up with my flashlight and find where she's gotten sick. You know why? Because I don't want Robert to step in it with his bare feet. It's a it's 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 being it's being concerned about my husband. I don't want him to slip and fall when there's something in the floor. If I hear it and the good Lord told me to take my earplugs out so I could hear things. Mm, I'm going to get up and I'm going to fix it. I'm going to clean it up. With six spots. Night before last. Six places. So I don't know what's going on with the baby girl. I don't know. She's just, she won't let me pick her up. She's just skin and bones. She's 16 years old. But the do it now print principle kicks in with her. I don't wait. If I see a mess in her window, I clean it up because I don't want a, any bad smell to keep her from eating. So allow the do it now principle to get things done. Let's just, let you'll be so surprised at how when, when you jump on this bandwagon of the do it now principle, you're going to do things and you're not going to remember that you did them. You're not going to remember you did them. Last night, I got Samantha to eat a hamburger, a hamburger patty. And, you know, she ate every bit of it. So I know she's getting food in her. Vet, vet's no help. They just say she's old. But she's she's terrified. She's terrified. And, you know, if she's in her last days, I do not want to stress her out even more. We've called a vet, a mobile vet, to come by. So it's going to be another week before she can come by. Anyway, folks, the do it now principle. Let it help you. It's not going to sidetrack you. It's just going to keep you from procrastinating on the things that need to get done anyway. So here's our plan for, for question and answer day. I'm going to close out this show. I'm going to put question and answer day in the subject line, and I'm going to turn it right back on. I want to keep these shows less than 30 minutes. We've been going 20 minutes now. <coughs> Pardon me. I breathe in. So, folks, you can do this. It's going to make your life easier. You're going it, to, it, it's, you're not going to be having to put out fires because you're going to have done what it was you needed to do. 
Yeah, that little fly lady behind me used to be on the outside of a building. <laughs> now she sits right here with me. Anyway, y'all, I love you all so much. Let me pray a blessing over you. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for all my fly babies that are watching our uh, our fly lady one-on-one -on -one master classes. Thank you so much for them being here and being a part of, of what we're doing. Thank you for their comments. Thank you for their support. We love being able to help people. Father in heaven, please give them the, the get up and go to implement the do it now principle. It's not waiting forever to get things done. It's, it's stopping that procrastination, nipping it in the bud. So thank you, Lord, for the do it now principle. Thank you for my fly babies. Keep them safe. Protect the, the people that are in Hawaii and Maui from this horrible thing that's happened there. Lord, we love you. Thank you for sending your son to die for us on the cross. Help us to be ready for when Jesus comes back again, to always be ready. And stay ready. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Be good, kind, and sweet. I'll see you in just a few. I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on again. I love you all. Talk to you later. Like in two minutes.